Okay, number eight. Number eight blows everybody's mind a little bit. Sometimes it does. Usually after a few questions of help, uh, everybody's got it. We're skipping seven. You guys can figure that out. So same kinds of questions. One motion relative to another motion, and you're throwing in perspective. In other words, point of view. So let's start with an easy one. We're going to try to do, I'll probably do like maybe five of these, and I'll let you guys fill out the rest. One easy, one a little tougher, and yada, yada, yada. So, let's start with the person's point of view. Where's relative to the person? Okay, motion of the person. Motion relative to the person standing on the ground. So, in other words, this person's perspective. So, the car, from this perspective, in other words, you're the person, the car is going to look like it's going 32 meters per second east, right? Because they're not moving. The person's not moving, so the car is just going to look normal. Everything's pretty much just going to look normal. So that's an easy one. So let's look at relative to the car. In other words, you are the car, you're in the car seat, whatever, right? So let's pick the plane. So, relative to the car, the plane is going to look like it's going... Okay, so let's, let's put this into perspective, okay? Um, the plane is going the same direction as the car. Which means, will the, car, will the plane look fast, the same speed, faster, or slower than the car? Well, obviously, it's going to be faster because the number's higher since they're going the same direction. But since the car's moving east the plane will not look as fast as it is actually going, right? So with that being said, they're going the same direction. We're going to subtract since we're in the car. So we're doing 125 meters per second minus 32 meters per second. Okay, so you should get 93 meters per second east. It's still going to look like it's going east because it's faster than the car. Okay, it is it, now. It only looks like it's going ninety-three meters per second. Just because, think about it. If somebody's running ten miles an hour, and you can run nine miles an hour beside them, from your perspective, it's only going to look like they're running one mile an hour because they're going to be pulling away from you very slowly, right? Okay, let's do another one. Let's do opposite directions. So, how about we do? the plane and the boat. So relative to the plane, where's the boat at? Right here. So the motion relative to the plane. So you're in the plane and you see this boat. The boat's going the opposite direction. Okay? So that means it's going to look even faster. So when I say faster, you should automatically think add, right? So I got 125 and I got 12. So 135, 137. And it's still going to look like it's going west in this case. Okay? And I'll give you an example as to why it's going to look like it's going faster. There's this uh, real famous basketball clip. There was some brawl. It was many, many years ago. And some dude started running towards another dude. So imagine the dude running. We'll say he's running at, you know, 10 miles an hour this way. This other dude punches him. He probably swings his fist, we'll say 20 miles an hour. Because it's smaller so you can swing that thing faster, right? So what happened was... Because he was running into the fist, he didn't eat a 20 mile an hour fist. He ate a 30 mile an hour fist. Because it got added together, right? So it wasn't just like he was standing there. He ate his speed running into the fist. So it really messed the guy up. Turned out it, it like messed, his, messed, his, messed him up pretty good. But the point I'm making is if they're going the same direction as each other, or opposite directions, it's gonna one's gonna appear a lot faster, right? Okay, 
So let's do um, the bird relative to the power boat. Now we're going to get a little tricky, but it's still not that bad, right? So motion relative to the bird. So we're the bird, right? So you're the bird's perspective and you see this power boat. You're going 17 meters per second west. The power boat's going 12 meters per second west. So the power boat, you're the bird, this boat is going slower than you. So you're passing this boat, right? So from your perspective as the bird, the boat, guess what? The boat's going to look like it's going east, right? So if you did, so the difference between these two numbers is 5 meters per second. So the boat is actually going to look like it's going 5 meters per second east. I know it says west here, but just think about it. If you're the bird and you're flying this direction, this boat to you is going to be going to the right because you're passing it. So it's going to look like it's going to the right, right? Because remember, it's all perception, okay? So that's why this is 5 meters per second east. So don't put negative because I know it, it's habit. It's like, well, I want to subtract this and it's negative, but it, you know it's not going negative speed. And remember in physics, usually negative, negative just means opposite direction. So that's why we're doing 5 meters per second east. So that's uh, four of those. Hopefully they're different enough to give you a perspective on all these. This side, it's pretty much the same as this side. I would argue that this side is even easier. So just keep that in mind. You know, if somebody's going a certain speed and this person's not moving, you know, it's the same thing. So if you can do this side right here, well, guess what? That next page, it's going to be a piece of cake. Okay. So keep that in mind. You guys are going to do great. Good job.